hey y'all, welcome back to Fatty Supple Hints, the show dedicated to helping you learn games good. And today I am bringing you the Black Pearl Farming Guide for the Genesis Map on Arc. Now there are only two really main methods for getting Black Pearls, and I'm going to go over the, both of those methods right now, and uh, let's just jump into it. So when it comes to Genesis, there's only going to be two ways that you're going to find Black Pearls. You're going to find the easier method, which is going to be finding underwater critters in the ocean biome, which is not a very difficult thing to do. Most of them spawn pretty early up in like easy zones in the in the underwater biome, really close to the surface. And the other method is going to be going into the lava caves, which is a little bit more difficult. But I found uh, two really good spots that you know give you at least about eight nodes in there that you can pick up. So uh, let's just jump into both of those methods. We're going to do the ocean one first, and then into the lava. When it comes to the ocean method, I found the best way to do it is just using your HLNA teleport. Um, and I did this to just make it really simple, so everyone can find these spots and find it really quick. So if you go either to the north, the east, or the west when you teleport, you're going to find lots of spawns in there. Now, what you're going to find in uh, the north biome when you first just kind of jump off the edges, you're going to find a lot of the, the trilobites in this area. So they're going to be the easiest one out of the three areas to get. Um, there's probably not as many of those as you'll find the eucryptids and the ammonites in the other areas, but this one's a little bit easier to get to. Um, and then with the east and the west, so the other ones are really easy to get to as well. If you use your HLNA teleport to either go to the east or the west, you're going to find um, in the shallows in that area as well, when you just kind of first jump off the pillars that you spawn onto, they're going to be really shallow there, and you're going to find a lot more trilobites, or not trilobites, you're going to find a lot more ammonites, and you're going to find a lot more of the eucryptids in this area as well. And one final spot where I found a lot of eucryptids is, is also at 34.7, 45.3. Now this is kind of that trench that leads down to the little bit deeper area of the, the underwater biome where you need to go to like uh, to breed the giant turtles and whatnot. But on along the shelves along this, you're going to see uh, a lot of the eucryptids just kind of chilling there. Makes it pretty easy to get them and kind of start backing away a little bit. Um, none of these spots have a terribly a lot of dangerous dinosaurs, so it should be very fairly easy and straightforward for you guys just to go out there and just farm these up. Um, you don't really necessarily need an underwater mount for a lot of these just because you're not going super deep. But, you know, having having a shark would definitely help in this one. I don't think you really need anything greater than a, a shark. Uh, but what I did find out is usually harvesting with an axe was a little better than harvesting with a shark. So just set, keep that in mind when you're going out there. Now, the final and the best method, in my opinion, would be the, the lava cave. Now, there are going to be two separate entrances that I found that put you really close to just a couple nodes that you don't really have to fight a lot. So a lot of these videos I've been seeing, like it's just people running past uh, a lot of rock golems and uh, magma stories. Like it's just nobody's business. And that just, I mean, you can, you can do that for sure. Um, but these methods don't really always have those creatures in there. Like sometimes, yes, you're going to run across them because you can spawn, like run across them at the very entrance of caves. Sometimes these are going to be the shortest and the best methods. So the first cave is going to be located at 32.4. 85.4. Now this one is a little bit easier than um, the other ones to navigate because you just go in and it's really straightforward. You just go straight and then when you go in just a little ways to the right you are going to see like a lava waterfall and then when you look down into there you're going to see a lot of the element shard uh, rocks as well as black pearls. This is going to be located at 29.7 83.9 now you are going to run across uh some dinosaurs in this one so have something to defend yourself uh, they're not really tough you're going to run across spiders scorpions and then arthropleura so make sure you're watching out for the arthropleura bring something that has some kind of a ranged attack you know if you have a dinosaur you're fine but if not make sure you have some kind of gun bow something like that to help you protect you on that one now the next one is going to be located at the second cave and that's going to be 21 point or sorry 20.1 78.3 now this one is going to be the lava cave where you actually go down to get the magmasaur eggs. Magmasaur eggs. Uh, so when this one, you just kind of go down this cave, and then as soon as you can see any opening to the right, what you want to do is just kind of grapple, and then you're going to get on this ledge, and you're going to see down a bunch of purple crystals, uh, kind of like the entrance to the other cave. And what you want to do is just parachute down there, and then just go down the path a little ways. And again, you're going to run into a lot of the similar creatures that you would um, anyways, uh, like in the other cave. And what you're going to do is once you get down a little further to 20.3, 78.1, so it's it's really close, but it's in the cave, so you have to follow this path or otherwise you're, you're not going to find it outside the cave. Um, when you do, you're going to see this little lava area, and you're going to again find about eight nodes of black pearls, which is going to be, you know, really good. There's not a lot of places where you can get a ton that's very safe. Um, within this cave, you can also go down further. It's not really recommended unless you're on a boosted server or maybe you have a Procroptodon. I've seen people do it on that. Or you think you can just be really quick and have enough carry weight. Uh, but down there where the Magmasters are, right along the, the very ledge, 
or edge, but down where the lava is, you can see um, black pearls there. Now, Magmasaurs won't ra like aggro from a huge range, but they will aggro on you, so you definitely got to be careful. Um, you know, just grab them and get out of there as quickly as you can. And other than that, the only other method is that, you know, you can buy them from HLNA, but that is incredibly expensive and not worth it. So definitely just come check out these caves, go farm some underwater dinosaurs, you know, maybe clear out the cave, go farm some of those dinosaurs, come back to the cave, give them time to spawn up, and you'll be good to go. Well, thank you guys always for watching. I really appreciate these videos. They've been doing great. Um, come check out our server. The Discord link is down in the description below. Have fun with us. This is where I record all the videos. Um, we just have like to have a good time, so come check it out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.